my third grade, chalices are very fancy cups that are used to hold the wine during mass. It holds the blood of Christ. Churches have very fancy ones. There can be some that can be simple and some that can have pictures of them or jewels of them or made out of gold. I'm gonna show you how to make one out of paper. So you need a plain piece of white computer paper to make a chalice. Um, we're gonna use the concept of symmetry to be able to get this even. Now, you probably remember symmetry. Symmetry is when you fold a piece of paper in half and you draw on one side so that when you cut it out, it's even and the same on both sides. Think of when you cut out a heart. You only have to do half a heart because you know that um, if you draw half a heart with the fold, when you open it, the other side will be even. That's using the idea of symmetry. Well, the same is gonna hold true for our chalice. Now, the top of the chalice is a cup, so you have to have an area up here that's going to be um, where um, the wine is going to be. And then you have a stem on it here and then a base. And the stem can be straight or it can be curved and designed, um, but you need some way to have the cup balanced to put on the table. Think of any kind of fancy glass, like a wine glass. You need to have an area where the liquid goes, then you need the stem, and then you need the base. So now that we have it folded, I'm going to, I'll first start with pencil. And I'm gonna come in from the edge, maybe about a half an inch, and I'm gonna make a U shape. So remember, this is symmetry, so it's gonna be half a U shape. Then I'm gonna come down here towards the middle, and I'm going to make it sort of curved and then as I get closer to the end, I want to taper it down so that I can imagine, take it to the edge, curve it, or straight down. I want to think about, okay, it's going to sit on the table. So let me go over this with Sharpie markers so you can see. Um, let me grab a scrap piece of paper here, because sometimes Sharpie marker leaks through and you don't want to make a mess on your table. But I like to do it in pencil first so I can There's a pencil line I don't want. I can just erase it. And you can see here how I've made half a chalice, okay? See there? The middle is the stem part here, and then this is the part here that the, um, the wine goes in and the base. So I'll take my scissors and I'm gonna cut. I'm actually gonna cut inside the dark line because I don't want um, the dark line showing through when I open my paper. This is my chalice that I have, very nicely done. And so from this point on, um, you can take your chalice and you can decide how you wanna color it. Um, maybe you want your chalice to be um, gold, maybe you want it to have jewels on. Um, chalice design is all over the place. Um, I learned from a priest once that sometimes chalices were given to new priests as gifts. So sometimes um, they're very special, um, that they're personally made for them, given to them as a special gift, or sometimes the parish will make a special gift of a chalice, let's say if a priest has been at their 
parish for a long time, maybe an anniversary, like 20 years or 25 years or something, they get a special chalice. Or someone made a special gift of one and it's, it's a special one that's been used for years and years. So a lot of the um, chalices used in church um, often have uh, some personal history associated with them. So I'm gonna put some paper behind and just show you some designs that I might like on my chalice. Um, if I want it to really stand out, I can always take a black Sharpie marker and outline it all the way down so you can see. my pattern. If you don't have Sharpie marker, that's fine. You can just color it as you want. Oops. You might want to have some um, designs on your chalice. Maybe they look like gems. And you have them colored in. Okay. Um, maybe you have some sort of special um, special design or medallion in the middle. Put this here. Okay, this is uh, my chalice. I think I'm going to color it in from here. You decide how you want to draw on your chalice. You can color it in with crayons or colored pencils or even markers and you can make it very colorful. And then when you're done, you can put it on uh, construction paper and it will really look great. So I hope you enjoy making your chalice um, and have fun with your project. Okay, bye.